Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Queensland's COVID-19 vaccination mandate has eased. These are the rules that remain in place. Queensland is now at its most relaxed COVID-19 rules since the pandemic began more than two years ago. Overnight, the vaccine mandate to enter some public venues has been eliminated and with it the need to check in. So what is changing and what rules will remain? Here is where vaccination status is no longer an issue as of 1 a.m. today. The requirement to check in and be fully vaccinated at a range of venues and events was lifted. Everyone can now go to pubs, clubs, cafes and restaurants, theme parks, casinos, cinemas, showgrounds, galleries, libraries, museums and stadiums regardless of vaccination status. There are also no restrictions on the number of people able to attend events like weddings, receptions and funerals. Queensland Health has published the changes here. Some places continue to require vaccination. Vaccination requirements remain for anyone visiting or working in vulnerable settings such as hospitals, disability accommodation services and residential aged care. This does not apply to residents and patients of these facilities. There are some exceptions for medical treatment, end-of-life visits, childbirth and emergency situations. The vaccination requirement also stands for workers in high-risk settings including schools, childcare, prisons and airports. Why are restrictions for schools and childcare not relaxed? Queensland Health says the Omicron strain of COVID-19 is spreading rapidly through school-aged children and their vaccination rates are significantly lower than the rest of the population. It says teachers and school staff and childcare workers are a vital workforce which need protection with the ongoing vaccination mandate, which aims to curb classes being interrupted and reduce staff absences. However, if you are a visitor to a school or childcare centre, you do not need to show proof of vaccination. Do I still have to use the check-in QLD app? Only at some venues. Vaccination and check-in requirements will continue for anyone visiting or working in vulnerable settings like hospitals disability accommodation services and residential aged care, as well as for workers in high-risk settings including schools, childcare, prisons and airports. Do I still have to wear a mask? Sometimes. You must still wear a mask on all public transport, in airports, and on planes. This includes taxis, rideshares and commercial shuttles, with masks being worn at all times by both driver and passenger unless the driver is alone in the vehicle. ULL also need to wear a mask in healthcare settings, this includes pharmacies, residential aged care, disability accommodation, prisons and detention centres. For anywhere else, masks are still recommended whenever you can t socially distance. Read more about the spread of COVID-19, what if I am COVID positive or at close contact? If you have COVID-19 you need to isolate for seven days from the day you test positive. However, if you have a fever, sore throat, runny nose or a cough that is bad or getting worse, on day seven of your isolation, you will need to remain at home away from others until those symptoms have gone away. Otherwise, your isolation comes to an end. Queensland Health says you are a close contact if you have been with a person that has COVID-19 for more than four hours in a house or other accommodation, a care facility or similar. If you have stayed away from them in a separate, self-contained area, such as a granny flat or a self-contained unit, you are not a close contact. You are also not a close contact if you have had COVID in the past 12 weeks. If you are a close contact, you need to immediately quarantine yourself at your home, or other suitable accommodation, for seven full days from the date you last had contact with the person that has COVID-19. If you live with them, your quarantine will last the same amount of time as their isolation period. Read more close contacts must take a RAT test on day six of quarantine. If that is negative but there are COVID-19 symptoms present, you should take a PCR test or a second RAT. For the first seven days after isolation or quarantine, you must wear a face mask whenever you are indoors or if you cannot socially distance outdoors. 
It is also advised that you avoid visiting settings such as aged care, disability care, prisons, GPs and hospitals. For the period of 12 weeks after you recover from COVID-19, you do not need to quarantine if you are a close contact and do not need to get tested but it is recommended you stay home if you get ill. If you develop symptoms after 12 weeks, you will be required to get tested and to follow the isolation rules again. This is general information. Visit the Queensland Government website for full details. Space to play or pause, M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. What you need to know about coronavirus, what do you want?